What's up, guys? It's editing four one two. Um, today I'm gonna I have a little tutorial. It's my second tutorial on this channel. No one really watched my first one though. So if you wanna watch that, check it out. Um, what we're doing today is a cool transition that I made uh, in After Effects, obviously. Uh, so here, check it out. I made it, it's, it's like a custom transition, like I haven't seen it anywhere, so it's like really new. So I have these little squares keyframed out, up, I guess, and then coming back down, revealing the next clip. So that looks nice. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So make a new project, and bring in some clips two clips well if you're already editing them what was that so I I'm that was my read contest entry right there so um drag your clips down I'm going to make this about 30 seconds long so, if you're not really good at After Effects, I don't think this is a tutorial for you. You kind of have to, like, know a lot about the program to be able to, like, keep up. So, drag this so it just goes right into the next slip. Like this. Alright, so what we're going to do is going to make a new solid. I'm going to make it black for now. And I'm going to keyframe it. Well, not really. Well, I'm just going to scale it down I mean so it's a square and it fits in the corner here and what I'm gonna do I'm going to come down to where the clips meet go about 15 frames back well I didn't see how many that was so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so 15 alt left bracket to trim and then I'm going to First, I just want to see real quick if it's going to like evenly fit across the screen, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't look like it's going to, so I, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe like this, that doesn't look that good. Alright, so I want to see if it fits. And it's not fitting that well. So, I'm going to go like that. Kind of have to do a little bit of trial and error on this part. So that looks like this is going to fit better. It's okay if there's a little bit of overlap on that side, but... So, we'll stick with that size. So... Okay, hold on. So, we have this shape, and it's 15 frames, starts 15 frames before the clips meet. Right there, so... What you want to do is go to the end of right here, and you're going to want to press S, open it up. Um, right now it's at 38.8. So, I am going to start it at zero. I might have to readjust it. So, and then keyframe. Go to where the clips meet, scale it up to back to where it was, 38.8, and yeah, we are going to have to readjust it, like that. And then go another 15 frames or so, doesn't have to be exact, and scale it back down to zero, like that. So now what we have is a square coming up, and then scaling back down. Alright, so now that we have that, I am going to do the rotation part. So press R, go to where it's at its peak, right there, 
and keyframe it or change the rotation like that. So it's like this. Go back to the beginning. Keyframe it. And then keyframe it back to zero. And then bring it. Wait, hold on. Well, yeah, I think that looks good. So there's not like. But I kind of want to do this again. So. And then bring it to the right. Move one frame ahead from that middle keyframe. And then go ahead again and bring it so it's at zero again. So now, if you didn't follow that, well, hopefully you did, but what we're doing is just making two keyframes in the middle, one's on the end to scale them back down to zero. So that's what we end up with. And that's right there. Okay, so that looks good. Now, what I did is and there's probably other ways to do this, but go to the middle of the clip and I duplicated this, so bring it across. Hold in shift to keep it straight while you're dragging it. And one more time like that. And then I'm going to cop and duplicate all of those. Bring them down. That doesn't look good. Looks like they were too a little too long, so you're gonna want to make them like look better, cause this is like off my screen. It doesn't look that good, but for the tutorial's sake, I will continue. So, right now, this is what we have. It looks okay, not the best, but and then to give it the checkerboard type look all I did was all right so we have this one keep that one black and go to this one I want go to effect generate fill and make it like that just go like that put it to whatever color you want so control C that copy it copy the effect paste it and do it so it's like a ch checkerboard. Yeah! Alright, sorry guys. <laughs> My mom was calling me. Okay, so where were we? Alright, so, yeah. And then we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna paste that there and there. And now we have that checkerboard look. So, that is pretty much it. You can, like, change the however you want to scale it and stuff to like whatever you want but so I'll we'll try a little ramp preview here for you hopefully my computer is like being weird about this lately but okay so this is what it looks like in real time So that looks like a nice, it's a nice clean transition, nice and quick. So yeah, that's basically it. And with these, you can add, the one thing I never really ended up doing, but I wanted to do, was I wanted to add like one of these. I'm not going to do it to all of them, but I wanted to go distort optics compensation and add it to that and then I'm gonna reverse the lens distortion oh uh, yeah I thought it, I thought it would like make it like bendy but I guess it doesn't really work on the solids like that so yeah whatever yep so this is it I hope you enjoyed and I hope it works out for you see ya